Hey, what's up, guys? I know it's been a while, and I wasn't gonna make this, but it's already February 3rd, and I'm like, fuck it, I gotta make it. So, we're just gonna go over the January tier list. There's some few changes we're gonna make. Um, this isn't gonna include the four new buff characters, because I'm gonna give it a few weeks to, like, actually see what they can do before I add in their tier list. But we got a few changes, and we got, like, the new characters, obviously. The start off with the first new character, Jubilee. Um, she's really just there. I mean, if you pull her early game, she might be helpful because of some fat damage, but even then, I, I, I don't really know, man. She just didn't... She was very not special. I think most people could agree. I think most people could agree. She just does decent damage. She has some slow, but it's not, like, the best, so might as well just throw in Demigod. She's better than, like, a Rogue or Wolverine, but she's not as good as, like, a White Magneto, Old Man Logan, or Havoc, you know? Second new character, we got Strife. Um, he's pretty much a beast for the abyss. He's like one of those high end content guys, like Aegon. Um, he has he can get unstoppable pretty easily or um unblockable pretty easily. Um, like a passive, so that's really nice. And he just does big fat damage. That's pretty much all you need to know about him. He's like Aegon. He can one shot a lot of fights in the abyss, but I don't think he's gonna be beyond god tier just because of the fact that like he doesn't really have any immunities. And Aegon is mean to everything, so it, it it's really just not, it, it's so much helpful. It's so very helpful to just be immune to everything. Chef has no immunities, I don't believe, so that doesn't help him going beyond God tier. And then another thing also, um, he can get rid of Unstoppable. He has a permanent shock on the opponent. He, he's, he, he's basically just, he's really good for Labyrinth in the Abyss. So if you pull him, he can just knock through content. His, he just hits like a fucking truck. So he goes into high God tier. Then I made four changes. Nebula goes from C tier, the decent tier, to demigod. I moved her up after watching um, Brian Grant do his f Unzo account or whatever. Um, I realized that her ability just to shut down robots is really helpful, so she moved up a tier. Netflix Daredevil got his buff. I haven't made this tier list in a while. I forgot the last month, so that's why you know this is a little bit late for these. He went from F tier, complete trash, to C, decent, but he's still just not that good so if you get him i wouldn't rank him up if i were you i'd just wait then i'm moving guillotine 2099 and sorcerer supreme both to beyond god dear they're both just so good i've been using guillotine so much my free to play account and i just realized how fucking good she is i don't know why she wasn't a beyond god tier before but she definitely deserves it she's just so good her damage output is like nothing you've ever seen when you just get her ramped up she can just keep herself going fight after fight with the regeneration She's double immune, bleed and poison. She has the combo shield. She has a lot of safety nets if you get hit. Like the combo shield um, is like a, it, uh, it's a damage cap um, for like basic hits. And if you get hit, you also have a chance to just go invisible. So like you can just blow, dodge their attacks. So she's just so fucking good. She has the power drain on medium. So you can basically always just keep them, power, never get them to three bars of power. If they have like crazy like 300% power gain off hits, you can just ignore that basically. Um, she's just so good, and she doesn't crit, so good for like uh, Mr. Sinister and, and like spiked armor. She um has the armor up for havoc, so she's just she's beyond god tier. And then Sorcerer Supreme from high god tier to beyond god tier as well. Sorcerer Supreme, I valued her underneath Clairvoyant for a while, but once I took off Suicides, I realized that I know this is about to be controversial. She's probably better than Clairvoyant without Suicides. If you have Suicides. Clairvoyance is probably the best. If you don't, Sorcerer Supreme is the best. That simple. Um, just her ability to just take infinite block damage and just regen it all. It's just so good. And her armor breaks, always when armor breaks, are so good for like Killmongers, Emma Frost. Her fucking regen just keeps her topped up. Her slow, you can just always have active. Just the fact that she has all that util and then on top of it, she's just always at a full yellow bar. She goes to be on God Day for me. If you run Suicide, she's not that good. If you don't want to suicide, she's very fucking good, dude. Especially as a six star. So as a six star, okay, and you also have the, I don't know what the mastery is called, but it like makes your regeneration 15% stronger, like all regeneration in the game. So the way her heal works is on blocked hits, she regenerates 85% of that. And then you add the 15%, it goes up to like 95 or 97% regen with that mastery. And then her also being a six star, from the um, adrenaline, just that six stars have, you literally get more than 100% of the block damage back if you get take a block to it and then hit him back. 
So it's just, you literally don't take damage from block damage. You can just tank some bullshit Punisher 2099 special 2 up your block and just regen all the way back to full. It's so beautiful. And nullification aura is also super good. So yeah, they both get moved into Beyond God Duty for me. The new characters, um, Strife, he's pretty good. Um, and then Jubilee, she's not that good. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I gotta pump this one fast because I gotta look because this month I gotta look because they just recently buffed. Um, who did they buff recently? Uh, Mole Man, uh, Kingpin, Yellow Jacket, and Terex, I believe. So yeah, um, I'll change that soon. But yeah, this is just the January tier list. This is before all that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.